This is Kilo, and today I'm going to show you guys how to decode a Brinks Combination Padlock Model 165. If you haven't already checked out my previous video where I show you how to decode a Master Lock Model 5400D using a soda can, feel free to go ahead and check out this link right up here. And I show you how to make a shim out of a soda can. So if you guys don't have a shim, Feel free to watch that video, go ahead and make one of these, and come right back to this video. Once you have your shim, you'll go ahead and set it aside for just a moment, and you will take your combination lock, and this applies to any combination lock you're working with. You want to zero it out, so change all of your code wheels to zero. From here, you will take your shim, and you're going to slide it to the left side of the code wheel, and you're going to feel for any type of indent on the side of the wheel. Your shim will basically fall into a little groove. So there's nothing on zero here, so we're going to go ahead and change it to one and try it again. And there's nothing there, so we'll go change it to two. And there's nothing there. Change it to three nothing four nothing very smooth five still smooth six still smooth seven seven is catching my shim here so right here see this little line running right into the seven that's where you're going to feel your shim drop. So we're gonna go ahead and call this one a seven, and we're going to move to the third wheel here. We're going to feel for that indent, there's nothing. So we'll go down to one, and there's a little groove, it's catching up. I can't slide any further down. So that's going to be a one. We're going to go ahead and try again on the second wheel. This is very smooth. You see I can just drop it straight down. One. Drop straight down. Two. Drop straight down. Three. Nothing. Four. Nothing five nothing six nothing there seven nothing there eight eight catches my shim here so I can't move him any further down so that is going to be an eight we'll go to the first code wheel here and that's actually grabbing here I can't slide him any further down. If I change him to the next wheel, see how I could drop him all the way down, nothing's grabbing him. If I push him back to zero, he gets caught right here. So this is telling me that we are at 0817. Now this is not our code. What you'll do is you are going to scroll five numbers up. So seven, so we're going to count one, two, three, four, five. So this will be a two. We'll count again. One, two, three, four, five. This is a six. This wheel, one, two, three, four, five to a three and this one will go one two three four five you'll actually feel that when you get to the last wheel it will just kind of set itself in there so this is telling us that our code is five three six two and we're able to open our padlock now from here so you don't forget your combination or you want to reset it all you'll have to do is push him towards the top of the shackle and he's kind of small here 
and to the left so up and to the left and from here we'll go ahead with the shackle open we'll go ahead and we can change it to all zeros just real quick here Oop. so there's a reason why I didn't go back to zero and I'll show you that in just a moment so from here we got all zeros we'll close the shackle drop him back down now if I change one code wheel he's locked back to all zeros and he's good now this lock has a kind of a crazy little feature you can't actually go backwards you can only go up so once you get you know I mean you can go backwards to zero but once you hit zero you can't go backwards to nine I don't really know why this is I'm guessing it's a combination lock so if you were you know trying to open this in the dark I guess it's kind of cool because if they're all scrambled and you know your code but you can't really see you could just walk it back until it stops and you know you're at zero and then you can count you know one two and so on and so forth so I guess that's a cool little feature for a combination lock but just to show you guys that's how to open your Brinks model 165 combination padlock hopefully this helps you guys feel free to leave a like if it did if you'd like to subscribe to see more you know how to locksmithing and lock picking videos I'm trying to upload on the regular but again thank you guys for watching good luck on your jobs stay legal and have a nice day